What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple released iOS 11 developer beta 7 today a little bit early. So around 12.44 p.m. it came in for me here on my iPhone 7, which was running iOS 11 beta 6 before this. And you can see it came in at just over 100 megabytes. So this video is gonna be a little bit shorter than normal because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wanna go out and see the solar eclipse, which is about to happen. So we're gonna run through some of these changes real quick. I just wanted to get this out to you guys just to let you know it's out and run through some of the new features and changes that I have found so far. But of course, stay tuned for the follow-up video, which I've done for every beta so far in iOS 11 to see more of the changes and features that have been found later on in the week and I'll let you know kind of how iOS 11 beta 7 has been treating my iPhone 7 here so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the build number here for iOS 11 beta 7 let's go to about here and you can see it is 15a 5362a so another long build number pretty much you know indicating that this is not the GM build so it's looking likely that we are going to get a beta 8 for iOS 11 at least it's looking that way right now and as far as changes I really only noticed one change if you 3d touch on the music uh, icon there you're gonna notice that we now have a music icon when nothing is playing here for the music before it wasn't like that it was either just blank or it showed some cover art for music but now it shows the music icon which I don't really think it looks that good in my opinion. If you click on it, it doesn't take you to the music app or anything. So kind of weird there. I think that's a little bit of a downgrade. I kind of wish it was like it was in beta six, but that is one of the first changes I noticed here in iOS 11 beta seven. And as far as the 3D touch stutter, it is still there in beta seven. Unfortunately, if you go ahead and 3D touch on any icon, you're gonna notice a slight stutter here, even on the iPhone seven. As for the icons, the app store icon is the same. Every icon is the same as it was in beta six. So it's looking like this app store icon is here to stay. I know a lot of people don't like like the look of the new app store icon but it's looking like apple is going to stick with that in ios 11. but other than that it's not looking like anything else has changed here in beta 7 which isn't too surprising but this is really the first beta where you know on first install within the first 10 15 minutes i haven't found multiple new features and changes i only found one change so far but again you know there's gonna be more discovered later on in the week so make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for the follow-up video where i'm going to show you some of those more new features and changes here in beta 7. but anyways guys that's it for this video this is ios 11 beta 7 again i'll have more coverage on this later i really I just want to get out there and see this solar eclipse i am here in florida so it's getting close to time to go out and experience this once in a lifetime event so i hope you guys can understand really wanted to get this out to you just to let you know it's out and show you you know some of the new changes so if you enjoy this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 11 coverage in the future so thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you soon